There's some movement this midday though on getting a vaccine for kids. Johnson and Johnson announced this morning that it has started clinical trials on its COVID vaccination for kids aged 12 to 17. That follows Pfizer's announcement earlier this week that its vaccine is proving to be promising for those 12 to 15 in its own study. In fact, it was 100% effective in that study. So much news, good news about the fight against COVID this week, but is it all what it seems? Well, let's bring in our medical expert, Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health this morning. Dr. Winter, thank you for joining us. Good morning, Mark. Good to be with you. So let's talk about vaccines and testing on kids. Uh, it's funny, I was meeting with my doctor earlier this week and he said, hey, listen, we're going to get some news pretty soon. It was the next day that we heard the news from Pfizer, 100% effectiveness in their trials. How excited should we be about that? Well, I think this is very encouraging. The next step is for an independent outside agency to confirm that than the FDA to approve it. But all expectations, that will happen. And we'll have that available for kids. Now, the eight-year-old, those studies are actually a little bit farther delayed. But I think that kid's going to be fine. I would, re I would assure that uh, family and that child, you're going to be OK. Studies aren't completed, but we expect them to be completed later on. Here's a timetable. We think that high school students will be approved and encouraged to get the vaccine by later this summer than younger folks later on in the year. We think the vaccine is going to be great, more studies to come, but so far we're hitting home runs with this vaccine, Mark. Well, uh, it certainly seems like that from a, a public perspective. You look at Johnson & Johnson as well. They say they are expanding their trials to pregnant women. Uh, what are our expectations there? The same. In fact, a lot of pregnant women are getting the vaccine now and they're finding that they, they do perfectly fine with that. So this vaccines, all three of these vaccines are really just terrific vaccines. The problem is not enough people are getting them right now. Production's up, distribution is still a challenge, particularly now because we're having people eligible from 18 older. So there's gonna be a little rush to the bank here for a while, rush to the bank to get a vaccine, so to speak. But we'll have plenty of vaccines, I suspect, in a couple of months. Well, we couldn't get that good news soon enough, especially with the state of Texas opening 100%, removing mask mandates. What is the status of our recent COVID spread? So far in North Texas, Mark, we're doing pretty well, but there's a huge surge right now in the upper Midwest, the East Coast. In fact, 33 states reporting many more cases of COVID-19 this week compared to last week. Look around the world, it's even worse. We have seven major countries in lockdown or about to become locked down, including France, Germany, Italy. This virus is going wild around places. And the, the factors we think are related to this are these new mutations. They tend to be more contagious, so they can spread more rapidly. Also, people are not wearing the masks as much as they should. They're not distancing like they should. Uh, more crowding, more travel. All those things give the virus the opportunity to jump from one person to the next that's the way it stays alive. That's its whole motive right now. So we need to keep paying attention because the virus is not going away anytime soon, Mark. We are hearing, though, about it uh, being effective at stopping transmission. We just don't know how long it will be effective for. Do experts expect that we will need booster shots at some point in time? Yeah, I think that's true. The, re the latest study, uh, Pfizer said they followed 12,000 of their patients as you mentioned, who got the vaccine six months ago, 100% effective. That's just amazing. Well, is it good for seven months? Well, we don't know. Seven months hasn't come yet. It's going to take time to prove this, but all expectations, it's going to last for a while, but probably not forever. The way this virus is going around the world, I suspect booster shots for a year or so, at least until the virus decreases in COVID cases around the world, not just in this country. Real quickly, too, I know a lot of folks uh, are having their fingers crossed that they can get together over Easter and celebrate the holiday with their friends and family. Outdoor egg hunts. How safe are folks with things like that? I think outdoor egg hunts are a tradition. They should be done. Those should be fairly safe. Indoor events, if everyone is vaccinated, also are safe. CDC just confirmed that. So you don't have to wear a mask or you don't have to stay away from people indoors if everyone is vaccinated. If you're unvaccinated, you can still get the virus. You can still spread the virus. So be careful in that instance. Okay, good advice. Thank you for your time, Dr. Winter.